going to talk about certifications today. Look, I love higher education. I don't like taking certifications to get certifications to get a three-letter acronym behind your name. I don't like that. I like CRN, I like certifications for higher education. Okay? The other thing I don't like is when you have a list of three-letter acronyms behind your name that's on your auto signature. I would challenge you to find somebody who's not in real estate and you send them an email, just a friend, and just send them an email and then pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, do you see all those little certifications? Can you tell me what those mean? Nobody has a clue. Actually, it makes you look worse than you not having the certifications at all. So I ask you this. If you're going to use certifications, GRI, CRS, whatever, you need to explain what they are. Now again, what happens is when you have a list of certifications this long, your email signature is this long also. So, do you really need to list your 35 certifications, 500 awards, 65 recognitions, and everything else? See, this is a challenge, and you have to be very delicate about this. And I'm not saying that you have a big ego. However, you know, we want to show that we are the best at what we do. We want to show that we're number one in O'Fallon, Illinois, um, realtor. We've been nominated for, you know, we're the number three producing team in the state of Illinois. And that we've been recognized in the Wall Street Journal list as number 32. And we're, the, we're in the Platinum Club on this, a Millennial Club on this, a Millionaire Club on this. And, okay, those are all great recognitions. When you get those, and then along with all of your certifications below it, it becomes across a little arrogant, egotistical on an email. Okay, it does. So you need to pick, I'm going to say, a top four to five that is the most powerful to you. Or you need to be able to truncate it down to a line. So if you're with a brand and you've won three or four brands, then you would put, um, you know, award from 2012 to 2016, this slash this slash this so it's on one line instead of listing them individual and then you know don't put you know the the three digit i mean excuse me the acronym for it spell it out and then put only three percent of realtors in the united states have this something like that and list it down to three or four of them don't list the entire thing and then spell it out a little bit more. So that means a lot more than anything else. If, if not, you're just the same as everybody else. Consumers care about one thing. What can you do for me? So if you're a luxury certification and you're going to work in a $150,000 house, it doesn't mean squat to that person. Do you, do you see what I mean? So you have to pick and choose when and where you're going to use them. If you're going after a certain, if you're going after a certain area, then have an auto signature line for your drip campaign or a marketing for that target area that has these certifications. And if you're going after this market, have this signature line and make different signature lines for your target markets. But don't have one blank one that goes everywhere that's this long. It's very, very important that we target to the highest and best that we can so that we don't look egotistical or arrogant. And look, we're proud of ourselves. They don't understand how much harder work it is. They don't understand how much competition there is. And I, I commend you for that. And I commend you for your higher education because I understand the value behind it. But Mrs. Smith down the street doesn't. So look at it in the consumer's eyes, not in the realtor's eyes. Look at it in the consumer's eyes, okay? So, and especially if you're an REO agent on top of that, because then you've got ResNet, Equator, and all that other kind of fun stuff, it doesn't mean anything. So pick and choose and target market. If you have to, have four or five different signatures set up, and then pick your signature that you're going to be sending out, okay? Words to the wise. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you next Wednesday. God bless.